Well, the pile's getting smaller and smaller. Just keep uh, keep working on it when we have burn days and yeah, keep shoving it in on itself and eventually it'll be gone. Well, we've gotten things uh, pretty well done in the bedroom other than the cabinet doors and drawers. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. We are going to, actually we've already done it. We're just stuffed a bunch of stuff from the living room uh, into there for now. Cause we have a few things that need to be fixed in the living room and uh, we don't want to get things all nasty in there. So figured we'd just pull everything out of the way, get some stuff done and uh, then we'll put it back out there. I was looking forward to moving into the bedroom and getting that all together and and living downstairs. I think we're going to take the opportunity for a spare room and we're going to pound out this living room once and for all, get everything finalized, trimmed, done, and just uh, get it 100%. So <sighs> moving stuff once again back and forth, that's the joy of uh, living in a remodel. So uh, anyhow, we are uh, making, making headway. Today I'm going to be putting on a couple things, getting a few things ready. I'm building some uh, shelving by the washer and dryer behind me. Um, just so you know, this is the front door as you come in. Washer dryers on the left-hand side and then a bedroom door there. I'm going to put one more shelf up on top and then we're going to move a bunch of stuff that's, uh, that needs to be stuck in there. We're going to basically pound out living room and then work on kitchen is, is where we're at. So, All right, we'll bring you along as we do that. Well, it's burn day, <laughs> and it's snowing, but we're going to take advantage of it anyways. You're excited, huh, Didi? No. <laughs> this is this situation. <laughs> so why are we burning in the snow? Because uh, they're crazy. <laughs> well, that too. Oh, well, we can't as easily catch other things on fire that aren't supposed to be burning. Yeah, we have a limited burn season where we're at, so um, it's gonna, not going to be going that much longer, even though there's snow on the ground. So, trying to get these big piles burnt and out of the way before that happens if we can't. So we've got a few things that we want to get finished up in the living room in here uh, before we uh, move on to a couple other things. So uh, we're gonna make a mess, unfortunately. That's why we moved everything out. So I'll show you what those are. Need to finish some baseboard trim. I need to fix window trim on this window. I thought I would just fill this in with another board. I didn't have the right size boards at the time. And I was like, I'll just slap them in there and, and come back to it. Well, now the time has come and Got to come back to it and fix it. So uh, rather than sticking another trim piece in there, I think that looked funky. I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. I'll reuse them elsewhere and fill them in with a proper size board. I'm not sure what was going on when I did the drywall right here, but it's not a good job. Um, so I need to fix that. And we messed up some drywall on this wall in the corner. When I was tearing apart the wall on the adjacent side, some of that shiplap had gone through and ended up busting, as I was tearing it out, ended up busting down that corner seam. So, gotta fix that. And drywall makes a mess, so that's the biggest reason why we're kind of moving everything out. So on this wall, this is opposite the stove, um, opposite the wood stove. We're gonna experiment with some paint, either do a tan or a blue or something, accent wall here. Uh, that needs to be painted. When we were doing flooring, um, we did something different. I don't know what on the center section here of the floor because we did it in stages. This section is a little bit darker and almost a different sheen or texture to it. So I'm not sure what we did there. We might sand that and redo that. 
I need to finish stairs, so I'm going to do treads uh, and kick plates on the way up. Need to get that finished. And our beams need to be um, re-sanded and probably, I think we're going to clear coat them. Uh, we need to get that done as well. So a lot of stuff to to make 100%. You know, once we had like a, a somewhat decent living room to live in, we're like, man, let's just move in. I'm tired of living in two by four studs. So, um, <laughs> but of course we need to finish it. So uh, now we have to, now we have to do that. So time to, uh, to get serious on the living room here. We're going to crank that out over the next few weeks and see, uh, see if we can get this 100% done in here. Oh, and I forgot my favorite, the three legged, uh, ceiling fan needs to go. I know it's, uh, been a fixture here that was the one that had the bat on it when we moved in that Didi was afraid of so uh, time for that to go too. the ceiling fan of course has drywall mud all over it and paint and all kinds of stuff on it so talk about a scary ceiling fan it's it's time for that one to go well, my uncle gave me a whole bunch of uh, scrap two by fours uh, that he salvaged so been slowly using those up here and there in our project and it's a uh, been awesome to have a bunch of extra wood laying around. Cabin history going into the window sill. So if somebody ever remodels this again, I guess they'll find that. This is the stain board that we were testing out a bunch of different stains on to see what we like for the floor. 